Hi, it's the Suzanne May. And I just want to talk to you, just a little chat, about my RSD. So a couple days ago, it rained, and it was bad because it was sunny for a while, and then the rain hit, and my RSD gets worse in the, like, rain or snow. And I felt like I couldn't move again. I felt like I was trapped on my bed almost. There's some days where my RSD... Um, sometimes if I lay down and my RSD gets really bad, sometimes I'll feel like I'm trapped on my bed or on a couch or on the floor and I can't move my body and there's like 20 buses on me and like 50 other cars. Like, it just feels like I can't move a muscle sometimes. I have to ask my grandma to help me get up so it doesn't like stay there for a while because the RSD can cause you to... Some people have gone paralyzed because of it. Some people have crutches. Some people walk around with canes like I do. Um, other day, it like it didn't get that bad, but it got bad. Like my hands start to hurt, my legs start to hurt, like the air start to hurt, like even the air moving my hands start to hurt. My blankets, like I just wanted to cry. It was like the RSD just wanted to, I don't know, just take over. Today, like it was not that great because it rained here a little bit, but it wasn't like. I fell asleep waiting to see if Jade would play with me because she was playing by herself quietly and I didn't want to, like, you know, destroy her being Have. And so I was waiting because I didn't want to, like, you know, distract her. And she could only deal with, like, maybe one or two people at a time. And I think my grandma and Uncle Wayne were downstairs already. So it wasn't like I could just go down there because she sometimes gets mad when there's more than a few. Like, sometimes she only could handle one person. So I'm like... I'll just stay out of the way, because I knew that, like, sometimes she could just get very frustrated with too many people. That's part of her autism. Um, I fell asleep waiting to see if I could play with her, because I didn't want to, like, you know, mess up her behavior. And my RSD started hurting after a little bit, and then I fell asleep, because um, she accidentally pushed me back, and I hit my head on the, like, literally just, like, right there. So I kind of just was resting, putting my ice pack while I was waiting because I had it like giant migraine afterwards. And the RSD started to hurt. Like right now, it hurt a little bit. Like for a while, I couldn't even shave my left leg where the RSD was because of it. Well, my knee. Like it wasn't so bad that I couldn't shave like the whole thing. But for a while, I couldn't shave my knee. And today when I tried to look at it, I saw that like I didn't get all of the hair. I, I like to shave. I'm one of those people who actually <laughs> doesn't mind shaving. And I was like, darn it, I thought I got all of it. But it turned out, like, I was just being so cautious and I didn't even realize it. I wasn't hitting the RSD. And, like, the RSD has caused so many issues. Like, whenever I get hurt on the stairs or tripping over a car stopper, I get hurt for, like, months at a time. I was on crutches for, like, seven months. And then on a cane ever since. And there's times where, like, the doctors are like, oh, well... They have to, like, give you, like, stronger medicine because of the RSD. Like, even the strongest medicine doesn't really work. Like, a few people have done ketamine treatment. And I was smart and looked up RSD when I was younger and found out all the scary things that can really happen. Like, I'm not as bad as some of the others because I decided to look it up when I first heard that I could have it and I never heard of it. And I decided to, you know, check it out. And I realized that some of the things that they said, like, they say you shouldn't lock yourself in your room. You should try to get out. You should try to exercise. You should try not to get so stressed because it can cause you to have weight gain and you can't do as much. And you have to be careful if you get hurt. So, and they talked about like a lot of RSD patients get sad and depressed. So I just think I'd give you a little bit of chat. My RSD is a little iffy right now. Like, it's not super bad, but it's not great. Like, I sometimes rub my left hand that has burning sensations on blankets to try to like desensitize it even though it hurts it's like if I do it maybe it'll calm down well I gotta go get my blanket and pillow out of Jade's room before she goes to bed so I'll see y'all in a little bit bye for now